What is up world? So I've been tearing down the motor on my live feed, my phone died and I'm back. So basically the head is off, the oil pump, the windage tray, all that's off. The bed plates are, is about to come up. And also I got all six pistons and rods out, got them numbered and labeled right here. And what I'm going to do at the moment is um, remove the bed plate. So I'm gonna put the phone down and show you when it's off. Okay guys, the bed plate is off and the crankshaft is ready to come out. So far the crank looks good. All the main bearings, rod bearings, and thrust bearings looked okay. So I should be able to salvage the crankshaft, the bed plate, and the block. So here's the bed plate. And you can see where that little injection nozzle goes on both sides and you actually force a sealant and it flows around in this channel. It seals the main um, rear and front uh, crank seals. And also it has that little nozzle right there. So you can see the bearings are not that bad. Yeah, so stay tuned for the next phase of the teardown. What is up world? So the last step before I could send the, the block off and the rest of the parts to the machine shop was to remove this chain assembly for the oil pump and the vacuum pump. So this cover had to be removed and I didn't know how to remove it. I looked up online, there's a special tool that removes it, which costs $169. The replacement cover is $14. So I drilled a hole in it and I poked it out. That way I don't damage the block itself. So that was, a smart innovative way to get that out so basically i got to pull this center bolt out those three bolts behind it will remove the vacuum pump and then the block is free to go to the machine shop phase one is complete you can see no more vacuum pump, no more chain assembly. Now you see the block. It still has a cam. I mean the crank sensor and the squirters, but we're gonna leave those there for now. But yeah, she's stripped. Look how short it is now. Like the block is mad short. You can see the oil pump and vacuum pump components. Definitely going to be replacing that with the chain guides and all that shit. So um, now phase two is to find a reliable, um, cost effective machine shop. So that way we can drop off the parts. I'm going to start with the bottom end and then do the top end. What up, guys? So I'm getting ready to load the block into the truck. We bringing it to the machine shop. It's pretty light, so I'm probably gonna slide the whole thing out of there and then transfer it over to the truck and strap it in. And I'll bring the rest of the components to see what the machine shop guy wants to do with it. I'll get back to you real quick. Okay guys, so we are all loaded up. I decided to bring the bed plate, the block, and the oil pan, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so we are on our way to the machine shop, you dig? It's gonna be exit 16 going to Harrison. This the guy's shop is called. In a quarter mile, take exit 16 toward Harrison, Newark. It's called Bob's Automotive Machine Shop, something like that. But yeah, this is the bridge right here crosses into Newark. I think that river is the Passaic River. But um yeah. Take exit 16. This is our exit. Alright, so I found the place. I've been driving past this place for years and I never noticed it. Pretty crazy. So we made it to Bob's man. Look at this thing. Sheesh. How does that happen? Oh, nah. Look at that.
the carnage. The horror. What is that? Mm -hmm, that don't look too bad. It is crazy.